He's like hit cappuccinos in one week. Vincenzo Nibali's hit problems and uh, Stan, a teammate, coming back for him. So uh, Nibali, has he had to go and take a wheel? We just uh, didn't quite get sight of it, but clearly he's been some sort of unscheduled uh, return to the team car for the uh, Italian champion. It looked like a puncher, but it looks like his back wheel is still up. Probably suffered from some sort of mechanical. And it's worth mentioning here, uh, Declan, that... Um, He's going to have to stop again. You've spotted that well. I wonder, are things out of kilter a little bit? Does he have to make an adjustment, or is that He's wheel... He's rear wheel. I thought it was flat. Back yeah. wheel. So, uh, clearly, Vincenzo Nibali, whether he... He hardly picked up a punctured wheel, so I can only presume that he just rode it for as long as possible until uh, he was sure and secure that he was going to get a wheel. Not an ideal situation. Not Inside 30 kilometers to go, you would expect that Vincenzo Nibali should be able to make it back into the group, so there'll be no panic from the uh, Tour de France champion, but from Vincenzo Nibali, twice the winner of this race, remember? He uh, won it in 2012 and 2013. Clips around his uh, team car and back into the group, and uh, no doubt the Bora team car will offer him that little bit of sustenance for a little while i mean this is where a rider of the caliber and stature and experience won every grand tour there is he's uh, he won't panic at all what he doesn't want to do is put himself into the red he'll use the cars he'll use the convoy unfortunately the astana team car is way back down the convoy uh, hence the uh, the rather long change i mean he lost about 30 or 40 seconds there but um again still uh, 30 kilometers to go um the tempo at the front is going to be constant he'll wait for his teammates and they'll gradually pace him up through the convoy using the cars as slipstreaming bear in mind they're not allowed technically to spend too long behind each car i think it's only two or three hundred meters but then when they've done two or three hundred meters they then flick make a bit of an effort then slot in behind another key team car recover and just patiently and uh, great shot of uh Adriano Malori there in blue. Beautiful jersey. I surrounded, have to say. yeah, surrounded by his Mobistar teammates. But here's uh, the man in the middle of your screen with the green, white, and red stripes, denoting he is the current Italian road there's, champion. There's, there's Not two panicking schools at all. of thought here, isn't there, uh, Matt? Because uh, Vincenzo Nibli isn't getting quite the same shelter that his uh, his teammate is. That uh, Scarponi that's uh, picked him up. So Scarponi now just takes him up through the cars but when they sit on the next car you know it's the, it's the guy that's first right behind the car that gets the most shelter so some people say it should be uh, they should just wait at the back of the bunch until Nibali gets back on himself through the cars and at that point then take him up through the group yeah it's um, generally when it's exposed um as I said, this is quite an urban area. There, are, there is a relative amount of shelter. And as you can see, just by the guy's position on the bike, just by the cadence they're pushing, there's no panic here at all. They're just going to work their way back up through the peloton. Remember, um, because of the finish today, uh, it's going to require quite a violent effort. The GC contenders are going to need to be at the front of affairs because there's a, quite a, a strong likelihood there is going to be some time splits. So Nibbly wants to make sure he doesn't expend too much energy. He's an experienced campaigner and will just drift back up through the convoy and get back into the bunch. It's different, Declan, when you know you suffer a puncture or a mechanical in the last few kilometres, seven or eight kilometres to go then. OK, it's not exactly panic stations, but you do have to make quite a violent effort to get back in the bunch before the finish. But I think we'll see... Uh, they about to get back uh, with relative easy. Best place, uh, Astana rider, Andre Grivko, 18th overall. That meant, that translated basically to 13th car in the, uh, in the, in the cavalcade, as a result of which he had to wait, uh, Nibali had to wait a little bit longer than he might have liked to pick up a wheel. Anyway, I think he's uh, safely making his way back into the group. Shouldn't be long before he's there. Bit of stretching there from uh, Tulayev on the move, stretching those... Uh, was it Lubayev that, uh, that stopped to help him, I wonder? I think it was, yeah. yeah. But there you go, he's on the back of uh, three of his teammates there. A few other riders are dropping back to possibly get musettes, except, well, not musettes, probably bottles and stuff, because within the last 20 kilometres, now we've got 27 k's to go, but within the last 20 kilometres, there's no, there's no more feeding from the cars, all from the side of the road. So we're heading into the final part of the race now. So it's the last opportunity for riders to make sure they're stocked up with food, uh, any gels they might need, and, of course, liquids. But Nibley there, look, just look at his face, look at his position on the bike, he's pretty relaxed. It's not something he'd have wanted to happen, it's part and parcel of being a pro bike racer. Um, so, again, so the energy he's using here is definitely not, it's not ideal, but we're certainly not ruling him out of stage honours. No, definitely yeah. not. Um, and as I say, he is going to need to be well positioned today in that finish because there's a strong likelihood there will be splits in the bunch. So we'll see riders like Alberto Contador, possibly Kreuziger as well, who finished up there in this race. Haven't heard of much of him um, so far, but he finished a quiet third overall. Uh, in this race last year and also Nari Quintana all of the main GC guys are going to have to be there or thereabouts because of the time gaps and because of how close